Judge me all you want for <laughs> the energy drink. But I packed the kettle yesterday, so I can't have, like, any other caffeinated beverage. And I did not have a good night, and I am not feeling my best this morning. <laughs> so, energy drink it is. Last night, it took us so long to get the two boys to go to bed. Um, and then I had so much editing to do, so I think I edited till about 10.30. And then I had to, like, have some mind switch off time. So, I think I got to bed about, like, 11-ish. Hang on. Upper, upper. And then at one, I don't know if you heard this, at one, Caden sits bolt up right in bed, starts screaming and getting out of bed and then running down the hall to the stairs. So I had to like bolt after him because I was worried he was like, because it's happened so quickly. I was like, oh my God, he's like half asleep. He's going to fall down the stairs. I managed to get him before the stairs. And then I tried to take him back to my bed. And he, um, he was in my bed to start with. <laughs> and then, um, he was just screaming. So I had to bring him downstairs, one o'clock in the morning. And then we got downstairs and he wouldn't get off my lap. And he was just like being a sooky, like koala bear. So I was like, do you want to go back up to bed? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> so I took him back upstairs to bed and I put a movie on and settled him down <laughs> And fed him and got him back to sleep, but it took it took a hot minute to get him back to sleep, probably like half an hour. Um, it's, I'm tired, so tired today. Also, all the packing, the moving, the working on top of that. I think I'm getting sick. I woke up like full of like phlegm this morning. I think I'm finally getting a bit better. Oh, tag, <laughs> tag. Quick little outfit look. I'm not even going to bother to do anything with my hair. It's just a day. Okay, let's get on with the day. So I ended up waking Caden up. My arm was killing me and Jared rang to say he was on his way home from the physio. Say hello. Hello. And we are now on our way to the Salty Crush warehouse because they contacted me and said that they had have an end of financial year sale and they'd love to do a quick, just a like mini collab um, around that. But because we're moving, I just don't have any time <laughs> so I said look I live pretty close to the warehouse like why don't I just could I is it possible that I just come down and like pick it up instead of you posting it so that I can film it today uh, so that I can get it done before we move and they said yes so we're on our way to go to Salty Crush warehouse whoa <laughs> to um, pick up some stuff for a club and we're gonna get hungry jacks on the way because until recently I had never eaten hungry jacks my whole life never had hungry jacks until what a couple of months ago three weeks ago. three weeks ago and now I'm a little bit addicted to it why I don't know why have I been eating McDonald's all this time when hungry jacks is superior I always thought that the bet hung the burgers are better at hungry jacks was just like a, a gimmick but you know what they are better Come at me in the comments if you disagree, but uh, the better, burgers are better at Hungry Jacks. I'm sorry, McDonald's, your burgers fucking suck. Hashtag ad. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag McDonald's, I still like you only because my 
kids like you, but if it was up to me, I would never eat at McDonald's. Sponsor me! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to Hungry Jack's, and because um, it's right nearby as well. And then it's probably going to be time to pick up Amy. Uh, Logan school emailed me and said that his school book needs to be returned, and I can't find it. I found two empty library bags. But no book, and I don't know what the book is, and he can't tell me what the book is. So I don't know what to do about that. Mm. Anyway, that's my middle of the day update. It's like lunchtime. I've like hardly eaten anything today. I'm starving. Have you eaten anything? Uh. We had a donut for breakfast. Yeah, I had a donut. Uh, I had those two muesli bars you gave me before you left. I think I had like three wafer sticks. Three wafer. I didn't have any wafer sticks. But none of that is food of substance. That's just calories. <laughs> Not that Hungry Jacks is, you know. I mean, Hungry Jacks is just calories. But it's just calories, but it. at least it's like filling calories. Not just like a muesli bar is not filling. A donut is not filling. Anyway, so we're going to do that. We're on the moving diet, which means we're eating nothing but junk because we've packed everything in the house. Well, I wish we'd packed everything in the house. We've packed enough. So much left to pack. So and like 24 to hours to do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so stressed. So stressed. But I'm like kind of stressed. Stressed. I'm that kind of stressed where I just want to be like, fuck it all and just not do it. <laughs> you know that runaway ADHD. stress. ADHD. Run away from the stress. Anyway. Got my salty crush stuff. But my filming area currently looks like this. So we're going to to do something about that like now so let's do that to crush dresses uh, I'm just gonna wear them for the next two days so I'm gonna pack everything else it makes it so easy so easy It's just me and the boys today. Emmy, we just dropped her at daycare. Jared's here as well, but um, he is just inside. He brought a new car recently and he has to go sign some paperwork for it because he should be picking it up hopefully any day now. So he's just signing some paperwork on the way to the country to go pick up the keys for our new house and do the inspection. <laughs> So exciting! Also, I'm wearing this Salty Crush dress. Uh, go check out the videos for it on my Facebook. And I have had so many com compliments. And I'm not gonna lie, I saw a couple of guys checking me out at the shops. It's just such a flattering dress. So, you know. <laughs> Talking to my friends. You wanna say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi, Smush? No. No. I can't see you, fans. I can't see you, fans. 
No, I know. You can't see my friends, but they can see you. Okay, Joe just called me. Apparently the car is like right near our car. It's just round here. So he wants me to come have a look at it. Oh my God. It looks like such a beast. I'll show you guys. I'll show you. Hang on. Wow. Oh, yeah, he wishes. Please. <laughs> on it, which means I got to do a new airbox and yeah. a, a new um, exhaust. Wow, it looks, yeah. it looks so great. Those wheels were a great choice, babe. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I... That's amazing. Okay, so first look at the truck. Pretty much completely done. How do you feel? Is it everything you wanted it to be? Well, it's not a 79 series. <laughs> but is it everything you wanted this to be? I just yeah, think it, it, was, it, it, it has come out looking better than I imagined. I did not know a Hilux could look that good. Like, you've done a fantastic job. Yeah. Jared used to work in the four-wheel drive industry, and he knows a lot about all that sort of stuff and accessories, and he's constantly... Like, it's a real passion of his. And I just think it's a, maybe it, it, it should become, mind. like, a car builder on the side or something. I don't know. Not, like, physically building, but, like, kitting out people's cars to make them look awesome for them. Yeah. Aftermarket accessories consultant. Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. And because then you wouldn't be brand loyal or um, biased. Yeah. And you just be like getting people good deals, ringing around, getting them deals on things, getting um, like the latest, you know, sometimes like these um, new little brands pop up with stuff and you could um, you could be like testing them and, and then... Hey, I'd do it if there's, a, if there's a market for it, I can do it. You can do it on YouTube. Yeah. And there's a market for everything on YouTube. There is. <laughs> All right, to the country! Finally. Casey got that case. I mean, that's a lot of keys. I'm gonna have to figure out what they're all for. Ah, we got the keys already has some on our way there now. It's so exciting. Oh, oh. oh my god, here we go. Oh, how are we gonna fit two cars here, actually? There's a lot of hedge. A lot of hedge. And you just drive straight into this. Yeah, are you gonna park on the street? I'll park in behind you. That Done. sounds like a fantastic idea. Oh my god. Okay, let's go see if my packages made it. Hi, welcome to our empty house tour. Well, mostly empty house. Come on in. Get in. Entrance way, not really much of an entrance. No, no, no bye bye. No bye bye. Come on. Come on. Okay, Come on. Okay. Come on, smarty pants. We'll go out in a minute. We'll go out in a minute. He's hungry. I know you're hungry. We'll go get food in a minute. Okay, we'll just chill over a minute. So. Shh, Logan. Let's go out tuck, please. Entrance way. Not much of an entrance way, but we can make it work. Come this way. Master bedroom. This wardrobe is going to be mine. I'm kicking Jared out. Which might sound mean. But Jared leaves at like four o'clock in the morning and there's often a kid sleeping in this like our room. So he can uh, make noise in another room. <laughs> Little ensuite. I've already put a plant in here. Plant. You look very short. <laughs> <laughs> I am very short. Oh, and I just want to point out a shower that even I can fit under, which is good, because I'm six foot three, so I usually smack my head on shower heads. Uh, maybe a Door. formal lounge, I guess? So, yeah, and it's got this cute little alcove look thing. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be Logan's Xbox space. We're gonna put a TV and a couch in here, and he can sit there and play Xbox. Most important part, right here, a baby gate, so that he can't go into those front areas unescorted and fuck everything up. This is gonna be Caden's room. It's the best 
Should fit. I measured it. It should just fit. Kitchen! <laughs> We've already started bringing plants over. Don't worry, plenty more plants to come. Kitchen! Big, like, main living area. This is where the kids are mostly going to be. We're going to have a TV and a couch in here, a little table. Probably my work desk. We'll figure it out. Room and he's already made himself at home in his room with all his alphabet little plushies. Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> hey, toilet. toilet and main bathroom. Toilet. <laughs> main <laughs> bathroom. Kids' bathroom, really. <laughs> Fireplace. Slash a spare bedroom, so this will be his wardrobe. If he has a super big day at work or gets home really late, he can come crashing here, you know, or we can have guests around. Little TV nook. And then the part that sold us on the house. Big covered outdoor area with a bar and a fireplace. And now it is raining. Imagine some wine, this good wine country here. We've got wine, beers, couch, fireplace, coffee table, bar stools, lights, kids' toys, dining table. It's gonna be pretty good fun, I think. And then let's go look Many at beverages shall be consumed. Let's go look at the garden. It's raining there, so, you know. Yeah. It's full of grass. And garden number two. Yeah. We don't get access to this in this rental because yeah. the previous owners are storing all their long-term things in there, I believe. No idea what's in there. Can't get in there. And that's it. Welcome to our new house. I can't wait to share it with you as we decorate it and stuff. See you in the next vlog, guys.